hello, this is another follow-up video to a recent Vecta repair that I did showing you how to replace the screen if it fails. Um, somebody else has sent me a, a unit to take a look at and a few people have asked me to do a bit more of an in-depth sort of tutorial on how I actually solder the new screen in. So we can see here that the um, the original unit, the screen has definitely failed there. Um, it's only going to get worse. So provided we've got uh, all the tools handy, we can go ahead and strip this down. I'm not going to show you me stripping it down, but there's the tools you're going to need. A solder and iron, the actual replacement part, a PCB holder, some solder, soldering wick to clean it up, some flux to keep everything flowing, and some isopropyl alcohol to clean up that working space because it's quite tight. Um, basically, if you just follow everything through as I'm doing it, um, you, sh you know, you should be able to get this done. Um, take your time, you, you fix it securely. I mean, I'm suggesting use the PCB holder. I've I've done this in the past using helping hands and everything. I just don't think the little crocodile clips keep it steady enough for um, such a small uh, working space. Uh, this is the, the actual um, soldering head tip that I use. It's like a chisel tip or a C-series, I think it's called. It's sort of like beveled slightly and it's quite smooth. Um, normally I use like a precision tip if I'm doing like a battery swap or something, but for this, you don't want to snag anything or catch it. Um, and all we're going to do is just get a little bit of flux just to sort of like get things moving um, once we've uh, got the PCB secu secured into that holder make sure we move any of those plastic components out of the way because we don't want them to melt um, just get a bit of this um, no clean flux which again I'm not particularly um, impressed with this it's, it, I do require that it takes a lot of cleaning but a little blob of flux onto that working area and what we're going to do is like I said last time we're going to flood this part of the um, the ribbon with a load of solder and that's basically just going to wet the uh, the whole ribbon uh, and you'll see here that as you do that the more when you add all that solder it just loosens everything up and the screen comes off quite easily I mean, you can see they're just sort of like fixing uh, just taking some of the excess solder off that was uh, adhered to the pads there um, before we go any further you want to keep this working area clean like we say um, isopropyl alcohol I find is the best for cleaning up looks. I uh, didn't have any cotton buds to hand so I had to use one of my wife's um, uh, cosmetic um, pads, please don't tell her. Uh, but yeah, keep get, get rid of that excess um, flux that was uh, just on the board there and dry everything out and that will give you an opportunity to uh, take a closer look at the pads, make sure that all the solder on them, um, it, it, there's not too much or too little, um, everything looks nice and clean, that was the uh, the spare screen there. Now what I like to do is just spend a couple of minutes and just visualise how I'm going to apply, apply this new screen. Um, because it is tight and you only really get one go, you can take it off and on but you don't want to be doing that. Um, really, it, it, you need to avoid that as much as you can. Um, so again, tiny bit of flux on the working area, just wet the whole sort of the, the both surfaces and it's going to help them adhere when we add some heat to that. Um, and again, you know, take your time, there's no rush, hold the, as securely as you can, hold the screen against the pads, um, and just really make sure that you've got it lined up and you're happy with it. You can see here, I'm trying to hold it with one hand, look in the camera, and operate the, um, the, the iron at the same time. But uh, yeah, steady hand, and once you've just, you've confidently got it lined up, you're literally just going to dab those first few pins and just stroke it along. You don't want to hold the iron onto this ribbon cable too long because you will melt it. Um, you know, it's, I, I'm, it, that's that's going to happen. That could happen to anyone the first time they do it. But um, if you are careful and you just take your time and you keep everything clean as you're going, you should be able to get that on quite quickly and quite easily. If you get stuck, please do get in touch. Um, and if you need any other help, I have got a couple of screens left, as I say. So if you want me to send you one, or if you want me to install it for you, then please do get in touch.